And now all the skaters know exactly what is coming. The eliminations start early, but then, of course, the road track is a lot bigger than the track that they've been skating on over the last three days. That will completely change the dynamic of the race. And the skaters patiently waiting for their cue. And still we wait. And it was supposed to be off a couple of minutes ago. Thirty-four laps of the track then for the competitors in the women's elimination twenty thousand meter race on the road. When they were on the track, it was Fabriana Arias, followed by Sandrine Tass, followed by Marika Toom. That was the gold, silver and bronze. All three are in action here in what is a big field. Twenty seven were registered. And the elimination process sounds. There will be a bell to announce that an elimination will be made. And then there is the mad dash to try and make sure you are not the last skater over the line. If you are, you check out. And the field just gets whittled down and whittled down. Arias and Vivieros working in partnership at the moment. At the front, you often see skaters of the same nation will look to try and work together try and tuck in behind each other there are lots and lots of lead changes and it's all very tactical and with so many skaters out there you've got to be careful on some of these bends as well accidents do happen and everybody bunched up Aaron Jackson of the United States right at the back of the group That's four non-starters. So we do have a strong field of 23, and there is the bell. So down to business. And there's one of the Polish skaters leading the way through at the moment. Alexandra Goss. That's generating great excitement in the stands. Goss did manage to pick up a couple of points in the points elimination race. Now the two Americans have decided to just make their move keep themselves out of trouble but all the skaters know exactly where the elimination point is and they know where they don't need to be there's only a single elimination it's not two going out so here we go it's the mad dash for the line and who's going to get picked off Jackson's back there. No, I think it may be one of the Belgians. Not sure. We'll have to wait for confirmation. Oh, that's a shame. One rider is down. And in this business, down means out. So... The surviving skaters continue. Let's see if we can see what happened here. Yeah, that's a real shame. Yeah, down goes one of the Polish skaters, I think that is. Such a shame, but there are always going to be tangles and collisions. Uh, Sonia Gak crashing out. Vanessa Wong of Hong Kong has been eliminated. So still lots of action going on at the front. 
And uh, that's the look around as if uh, Vanessa Wong, I don't think, quite believes it. Just points to herself and says, yeah, have you got me? And the answer is yes. So she's done. It does sometimes happen. Oh, and another collision. Whoa, real carnage there. Three on the floor. And one of the Belgians badly impeded as well. Well, we are seeing some real drama here. Well, the good news is they've got a chance at trying to come back and join the group. And Sandrine Tass, the Belgian, is holding back and trying to help Steen Van Hoot rejoin the group. A compatriot. And it looks like Van Hoot, look at that, that is real teamwork. Tass just holding back. So Van Hoot has managed to join up with her. But there's a couple of skaters behind those two that have got a ways to go yet. Marika Toom and Fabriana Arias right at the head of affairs. Two of the big players potentially here. But uh, real drama if we take a look at this. Too many skaters on there and yep. Down goes one of the French skaters, down goes one of the German skaters. Somehow, Sandrine Tass stayed on her feet. They were not rather, uh, not Sandrine Tass, the other Belgium. Steen Van Hoot stayed on her feet. Didn't lose too much ground. I think uh, Juliette Pudiba and Bianca Rosenblum, the Dutch woman, were badly impeded. And uh, Josie Elizabeth Hoffman of Germany also hit the floor. So those three have got some work to do to try and get back as the bell sounds again. Uh, the other French woman, the head of affairs, Clémence Albu. And they just pick it up, but yeah, there's problems at the back. And it's looking bleak here for Juliette Puidiba. And yeah, there's the. Uh, that's a painful business, this. If you crash on this surface, as Josie Elizabeth Hoffman did, it hurts. So here they come, led by Erin Jackson. Coming through now. And we wait to see. Who is going to go? It'll be Pudiba or Rosenboom. We, we think. As they were certainly two of the skaters badly affected by that crash. Hoffman has managed to get back. Pudiba is still going, so I think Rosenboom could be the one that's just crashed out, literally. Yeah, and Rosenboom has now been eliminated. So Pudiba is still in the race, but she's got to work so hard to get back and rejoin this group otherwise she is going to be automatically eliminated next time she's working really hard to do just that It'd be a gutsy effort from the French woman if she can do it she has rejoined the peloton with 27 laps to go so that puts the pressure on the others they pretty much had a freebie after that crash they don't have a freebie anymore Poudaba has got in amongst them they're not so much interested in what's happening at the front because the skaters take it in turns there. We're interested in what's going on at the back of the field. The other American, O'Neill, takes a shift. One of the Spaniards hits the back. I think that's uh, Shayla Pusada. Yang Ho Cheng is rather too near the back of the field for comfort as well. And the second Belgian, also prominent towards the back. But she had so much work to do to just get back on terms. Steen Van Oot, helped by her compatriot. And it's um, Posada that's feeling the pressure here a little bit. Hoffman, the German who's got that injured leg, also there now. That was a blanket finish. Uh, Puidabout will be one of the contenders for elimination there. I'm not sure exactly who they got. Posada was back there. It is Pudiba. 
Well, that's a shame. She'd done all that hard work. And all in vain. Well, one of the other casualties, the only other faller that is still going is uh, Hoffman. Van Hoot was impeded. She'd worked so hard to get back in contact. So she had nothing left for the big sprint to avoid elimination. That's a shame for Juliette Pudiba. But she's gone. O'Neill continues to do some work at the front. The American road specialist. Erin Jackson has drifted towards the back. Not expected to be one of the key players. Fabriana Arias is lurking at the head of the pack. Also up there, Clemence Albu of France. As they look to crank it up again, Sandrine Tass and Marika Toom are tracking each other. The silver and bronze medalists on the elimination race on the track, and Sandrine Tass looking to try and forget the 200 metre time trial in which she qualified for the final in third place and ended up bottom of the pack. Now, here comes the charge again. Here we go. I think it's one of the Polish skaters that is really struggling and feeling it here. Yep, there we go. That was Alexandra Goss. She's gone. Erin Jackson just in front of her knew exactly where the problems were. So Goss, the latest to disappear. The Colombians continuing to work well together. Julia Lola Bridget are prominent for the Italians as well. So still a long, long, long way to go. Yep, yeah. all over then for Alexandra Goss. Just run out of it. Jackson, you would feel the American towards the back there. Definitely one of the vulnerable survivors. And here goes the bell once again. It is only one at a time. So as long as you can keep one skater ahead of you, you stay alive. You give yourself a chance. One of the Chileans who we've not seen much of, Traslavina Lopez. Going around there in the middle of the pack. And ploughing her own furrow there. The Belgian, Van Oot. He's taking things on. He's saying, my turn. And Jackson has hit the back. And she's saving herself for a big charge. It looks like she's, she's coming through on the inside there, trying to avoid elimination. The American at the back, one of the Germans is back there. So Hoffman's trying to avoid it. She's in danger. Jackson's in danger as well. Oh, and who's going to be eliminated there? I think it may have been the second French woman. We await confirmation of that, but certainly looking vulnerable there was Clemence Albu. And I think they may have got the French woman. As Jackson has uh, Jackson has been called. Well, it was a photo finish between her and Clemence Albu. I'm not sure if Jackson's even aware of it. She's still going there at the back of the field. But her number has definitely been called. She's being called, Erin Jackson. Oh, I don't think it's sunk in yet. So here we go. Now she knows. Now she knows. She's heard it now. So here comes the next elimination. Now Boo, we know, will be vulnerable. Hoffman, the German who had the collision, will also be vulnerable. The other American seems to be uh, finding the going a little bit tough right now as well. just looking around who's still here who's a danger Marianne O'Neill the second American lurking at the back along with Steen Van Oot Josie Hoffman 
the injured German is still going. She's right in the middle of the pack. She's done really well to recover from that crash and that very nasty grazed thigh that is going to need some medical attention. Here we go again. Here's the big push. Looks like it could be one of the Americans, or the Americans, should I say, or one of the Belgians. And I think that might be Sandrine Tass that's gone, is it? No, it's Steen Van Oot who's gone. Somehow O'Neill managed to survive that mad scramble, so Van Oot. Another one who was badly impeded in that big crash. She's gone, and the only survivor from that carnage now is Josie Elizabeth Hoffman. And as we continue just to boil them down, Darian O'Neill of the United States has been sat at the back for a while. Nadia Wenger back there, so one Belgian left, Sandrine Tass, the multi medalist. Fabriana Arias has uh, come through unscathed thus far. We are down to 14. Marika Tomb of Germany keeping out of trouble as well. In front of her, one of the Chileans, Traslavina Lopez. And El Boot continuing to work from the front. Tomb happy to be towards the front of the peloton. to Ancine of Spain also in the mix and very quietly Yang and Li of Chinese Taipei have come through without attracting any attention Nadia Wenger of Switzerland is towards the rear of this group at the moment doesn't need to be there in fact she's right at the back now the Swiss skater looking to try and work on the inside as the tempo increases and at the moment it's Switzerland and the United States towards the back and out goes Nadia Wenger now Toom takes over at the front now Wenger just being confirmed so she peels off Still two, still two Spaniards in there. Tomb leading the way. Lee Arias, Shayla Posada, and Meta Ancine. The two Spaniards handily placed at the moment. At the back. Darian O'Neill, the other American. There goes Wenger. Now O'Neill has survived a couple of scares. Is that a sign? that she's starting to feel the pace or is it that she's pacing herself rather well time will tell that's Lovina Lopez the Chilean at the wrong end of things but it's the two Spaniards and the American that are at the wrong end of things at the moment Hoffman towards the back as well Arias and Tass Yang they're all up among the contenders you need eyes on swivels to succeed because you never know where the danger is coming from. Well, that was uh, a real puff of the cheeks there from Shayla Posada, the Spaniard second last at the moment with the American behind her ready to pounce. Also back there, Josie Hoffman, the German who's done so well just to stay in this competition. But O'Neill has made a little move and I think it's going to be Hoffman that's struggling here. She's got some work to do. Lovely bit of work there from Hoffman. Now she's just managed to cut inside. Can she stay out of trouble? She does. Now, who did they get there? That may have been Old Boo. Yeah. Clements Old Boo indeed has gone. That was a big push at just the right time from Darian O'Neill and Josie Hoffman. So they stay alive. And the medals are coming from this group and it's all getting a bit twitchy in there now. Both the Germans still there working together as a team in their predominantly red uniforms. Oh, that could have been disaster there for Meta and Seen. 
she's hung on. Sandrine Tass of Belgium still there as well. We'll continue to call Emos Albu's number. And she hasn't heard it. She's still in that group. Albu. Now she's heard it. And she too disappears. So we dwindle down now. Twelve left. Fourteen laps left. It's all over for Clemence Albu. Sandrine Tass leading them on. This group sticking pretty close together. No suggestion at all of a breakaway. Posada has got herself in a good position and seen at the wrong end of things. And it was Meta and seen as I suspected that got caught out there. So the first Spaniard just to the left there. She's done. Yeah, we will soon be in single figures. Oh, she doesn't know. She's <laughs> taking a turn at the front. The well, end scene continues. And I think uh, the message is getting through now. Oh, is it? No, she's still going here, Maita Ansin. Uh, at the back, one of the Germans, and I think that is Hoffman, starting to look a little bit leg-weary. At the other end of affairs, the other German, Marika Toom, leading the field. The two Colombians have stayed out of trouble, Vivieros and Arias. Tass is still there. So two, Lola Brigida. Very quietly having a good skate here, the Italian, and a little move by Traslavina Lopez. She's being tracked by Hoffman on the outside. Looking to try and solidify her position. Posada, the Spaniard, is towards the rear of the field. So too, once again, is Darian O'Neill, the American. Now those two have skated on thin ice if you'll excuse the pun on more than one occasion and then they time their burst to perfection but here we go again and it looks like it's Hoffman and it looks like O'Neill that might be struggling and it's Hoffman well it was a brave race and that leg of hers is going to be very sore for a long time but out goes the final survivor, oh, big uh, gulp of air there from Josie Hoffman. She got up from that heavy crash, she bravely carried on, and she went deep into this field. But now we are down to the last ten. Ross and Farias continuing to work effectively together. Traslavina Lopez is in their task. The two Chinese Taipei skaters, Lee and Yang. Lola Brigida has kept out of trouble. O'Neill has been coasting along at the back. Posada has had one or two scares. Toom right in the middle. And as ever. Marion O'Neill seems happy just sitting right at the back, trusting her sprint to get her out of trouble. Well, it's worked four or five times. The two Chinese Taipei skaters towards the rear of things as well, as is Posada. Lola Bridget a leading Tass, followed by the two Colombians, Arias and Viveros. Then it's Tomb. And now they're looking to crank up the heat, and there's attacks coming from all over. Lola Bridget decides it's time to stretch it out a little bit. 
and Posada is at the back and struggling. Toombs back there as well. I think she's going to be okay, but she's certainly a contender for elimination. And this time O'Neill once again, a very clever dart on the inside, and it could be Tass that's in trouble. Now that'll be a story if they've got Tass. Was it Tass or was it O'Neill? It's O'Neill, but my goodness me, Sandrine Tass came very close to elimination there. As Posada went through, it was so close between O'Neill, who looked like she'd played the smart game, taking that inside line as she'd done so many times at the elimination point. She almost picked Sandrine Tass off. The Belgian surviving by the skin of her teeth. She won't want to get herself caught back there again. Tass and Posada jumping towards the front of the pack now. Lola Brigida, the two Chinese Taipei skaters. Tum, Traslavina Lopez, the two Colombians. They're all still there. And I wonder if Tass will learn a lesson. Tum almost got tripped up there as well. Lola Brigida making sure that she holds her position the Italian working behind Vivieros Arias looking to add to her collection of medals Toom looking to stay out of trouble Tass sticking very close to her Posadas towards the back she's had a really good skate she's in very very rarefied company here the Spaniard how many more eliminations can she survive very experienced and all that experience is showing here and it's Lola Brigida that's feeling it now. Lola Brigida's got a lot of work to do if she's to avoid elimination. And the Italian knows her race is run. So, Lola Brigida suddenly hit the wall there. And they put on that injection of pace. She couldn't go with it. And we are down now to eight. All eight will take a deep breath. One German, one Belgian, two Colombians, two from Chinese Taipei, a Chilean and a Spaniard. The medals coming from this group. Well, Brigida had nothing left to give. Oh, the pace really picking up. A slip now, you hit the deck here, you will not recover. You want to be so careful, there's far fewer in the field, but so many of these skaters looking to attack and cut corners literally. An error of judgment. Who cost you the race? Posada is the one at the back. Traslavina Lopez just in front of her, one of the two Chinese Taipei skaters towards the rear of the field as well. I think that's Li Meng Chu. But the Colombians have been front running together for much of this race. Traslavina Lopez and Tass towards the outside there, looking to make their move. Toom has got herself at the back, and Posada it is that's suffering now. The Spaniard, who's done so well to get this far, but can she hang on again? She's got a lot of ground to make up here, Posada. That's a big gap at this point, and I don't think it's going to work for her. No, the gap's getting bigger and bigger. Can she try and cut in here? Off this last bend, has she got anything left at all? It doesn't look like it. That was a pretty good race from Shayla Posada. To get down to the last eight in a field of this quality is no mean achievement. But the field trims down again. Two Colombians, two Chinese Taipei skaters, Belgium, Chile, Germany. This is the point in the race that you look at who's conserved energy, who looks strong. And the two Colombians, it's looking effortless for them. The Chinese Taipei skaters have really just kept out of trouble. They've not done too much front running either. Toom has been bumped around a little bit. Tass had an almighty scare that she survived. Stella Posada. Very satisfied, but no medal for her. Translavina Lopez had one tiny scare. 
you know, if anybody's looking vulnerable here, it could be one of the Europeans, you would think. As away we go again, Translavina Lopez deciding, oh, I'm not going to go anywhere near the pack. Toom it is that's in that last place at the moment. The two Chinese Taipei skaters in front of her and the Belgian Tass in front of her. The Colombians continue to stay out of trouble. Toom now making a move on her own to just get out of trouble, put the pressure on somebody else and it's Translavina Tass, uh, uh, Translavina Lopez I should say at the back. The two Chinese Taipei skaters just in front of her. She'll be looking to try and pick one of those off. Sandrine Tass looking around, making sure it's not her. And the two Colombians continuing to look really strong. Marika Toon tucked in between them. Big attack coming on the inside, and it's the Chinese Taipei skaters that might be in trouble, or was it the Chilean that's gone? It's a choice there bet between one of the Taipei skaters, Yang, and Traslavina Lopez. Who did they get? Well, this was a real photo finish, and I think that was Traslavina Lopez. And indeed it is, it's confirmed. So, now we come down to six. Still two Chinese Taipei skaters standing. Traslavina Lopez says goodbye. Two South Americans from Colombia, two Asians from Chinese Taipei, two Europeans from Belgium and Germany. This is where the medals are going. There will be one more elimination and then it's down to the final five who can just sprint for glory. Arias, Tomb, Tass, They've all tasted, and Yang, they've all tasted what it feels like to be on the podium. Vivieros and Lee looking to experience that for the first time. And this is indeed is Vivieros' first race. She's looked very strong and capable and competent. Arias, it is, that drives forward. Vivieros tucked in behind her. There's Toom. Tass, the two Chinese Taipei skaters. Caught at the back. Now, they're making a move here, and it's Tass that's looking vulnerable. One of the Chinese Taipei skaters is okay, and it's Tass that's starting to feel a bit leggy. Oh, she's got some work to do here, the Belgian, if she wants to add to her medal collection. It's not looking good for Tass. She's got a lot of ground to make up, and she can't do it. Or did they get Yang? Well, it was so close between Yang and Tass. Impossible to see without the benefit of a photo finish. It's Yang. Oh, my goodness me. Sandrine Tass survived by the skin of her teeth for the second time. So, Yang. At the back of the field there, can peel away. Always tough to be the last one eliminated. And these are the survivors. The two Colombians have looked so strong. What can Toom, what can Lee, what can Tass do about this seeming comfortable dominance of the two Colombian skaters here? Fabriana Arias already with a collection of medals. Joanna Viveros looking for her first. Marika Toom looking to add to her bronze from earlier in the competition. Tass hoping to add to her collection. Lee has done really well to stick with this group. But the Colombians have thrown it out there. Going for it. No elimination now. It's just first, second and third. Toom's got herself in good position here. Tass is looking to attack. But it's Arias, and look who's slipping through on the inside there. Viveros having a go. She's got herself to the front. Lee struggling a little bit. Tass has got herself second place. She's separating the two Colombians. Toom's got some work to do to get on the podium. She slipped inside. Here come the two Colombians, but it looks like Viveros is going to take it ahead of Tass. And I think that was Toom taking third place. Well, she is the specialist. And Johanna Viveros, who was helped by Fabriana Arias, who got run out of it there, has claimed gold, another gold for Colombia, another medal for Sandrine Taz.
and Mariah Katoum has played it clever again to pick up another medal. She got bronze in the 15,000 elimination on the track. Tass got silver. Arias got gold on that occasion. It's another gold for Colombia on the road, but it's not Arias that's got it. It's Johanna Viveros. And it all got too hot for Lee right at the end there. Well, that was a really good skate, a really interesting race. Well, already you could see that Lee was going to struggle in this kind of company. It was Arias, though, that got dropped off as the two Europeans had saved something for the big sprint, but Viveros, who'd looked so strong throughout, made sure the gold medal was hers. By no more than a tenth of a second. Marika Toom a little bit back from that. And Arias and Lee. That's the story of the women's 20,000 meter elimination. More gold for Colombia. And they worked as a team there, didn't they? Fabriana Arias may not be on the podium, but she is absolutely delighted that her teammate is. Well, it would have been a bonus for Colombia if Arias had also got on the podium. But they worked well together. They looked so strong together. Tass 